And I'm Bill Hood for the School of Screen Printing. Oftentimes, as textile screen printers, we're giving we're given uh, napkin drawings, small illustrations. People grab them off the internet uh, and ask us to reproduce them on T-shirts, but at an enlarged size. Uh, a lot of times they'll bring in an image that's only two inches tall and expected to be 10 inches high. Uh, it's certainly possible to take these jagged edged 72 DPI drawings and, and redraw them by hand, uh, but that's time consuming and quite costly if you're having to pay for it. I've got a better idea. This is Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we're able to do uh, quite a bit of cleanup uh, very quickly. I'm going to show you how to turn this low-resolution drawing into a very high-resolution uh, illustration. Right now, the image size on this is uh, two, point, uh, two and a quarter inches high by two and a quarter inches wide, 72 dpi. We're going to turn that into a 10-inch uh, uh, tall drawing at about 300 dpi. And uh, although we don't really need more than 230, we're going we're gonna to save it at 300 because we want some good sharp edges. So the first step is to take the resolution, change it from 72 up to 1200 dpi. Then we're going to make the height 10 inches tall. That'll make the width 8.2, basically give us an 8 by 10 illustration, which is a pretty good size illustration going on the front of a t-shirt. Uh, by the time you add a little bit of type to it, you'll be much better off. So we say OK. Now it's going to make the drawing kind of large. I'm going to bring it back into size. And you'll see that just doing this has given us a pretty good uh, illustration. It cleaned up the jagged edge quite a bit, but it's a soft drawing. We don't want a soft drawing because these soft edges are going to be deteriorated in our screen printing the image, and we don't really want that. So we want to create a good, <clears throat> we want to create a good uh, hard edge illustration. First step is to use our magic wand. We want to set our tolerance at a fairly high degree. We're going to use 100. Anti-laced is fine. We're going to turn off the contiguous. We don't, do not want to check mark on the uh, contiguous, and you do not want to check mark on the sample all layers. Then we're going to select the black, and it'll take a few minutes depending on the size of uh, your computer, how much uh, memory you actually have to be uh, to be using. This is going to give us a pretty good. Uh, idea of how much of the illustration we're going to get. This layer right here at the bottom of right above his eyes uh, is a little weak. We probably just need a little bit more. I'm going to go back and uh, do a command D to get rid of the marching ants. I'm going to up this to about 100 and, uh, 130 uh, and then we'll go back in and we're going to grab a little bit more of it just to give us a little bit of a bite there. Okay, now we've got quite a bit of it. Okay, now that we've got that <clears throat> the next step is to go to paths and we'll go to make work path and we'll set our tolerance in this case at about 4.0. You can go anywhere from 2 to 6.0. Uh, anywhere in there should be about fine. Uh, 4.0 will do us pretty good here. Uh, we'll go on up to 5 and see what happens. So 5.0. Now this is going to take a while. <clears throat> Depending on the size of your computer, how much memory you have, it could take up to, uh, even for an illustration this size, an 8 by 10, it could easily take uh, 10 minutes or longer. So I'm going to cut the video, uh, splice it here so that uh, you don't have to sit here for 10 minutes and watch this, and we'll be back whenever it finishes. Now, what you're seeing is that it's actually created a white line at the edge of this illustration. I'm going to blow it up a little bit so you can see the white line. And you'll notice the white line is a lot smoother than the black and the, uh, the gray area. In fact, it's encompassed all of that. Okay. Now, we're going to reduce it back down. The next thing you want to do is hold down the control key, click on work path, and make a selection of what you've just done. We're going to leave it and uh, feather radius of zero. We click OK. That's going to make us a path that's selected. We go back to our layers. We create a new layer. And we'll just call this uh, final. Say OK. Now, we're in our final layer. We've got our final layer selected, as you can see. We can turn off the background at this point, And we're going to fill that that ed, that image with black. Right there, black. Say OK. That'll fill it with black and we can get rid of the marching ant so you can see it better. Now when I blow this up, 
excuse me. Now when I blow it up, you can see we have a, now this is on a transparent background as you can see. Uh, what we can do here is we can simply turn off the background. We don't want the background selected. We'll go to layers, we'll go to flatten image, and discard hidden layers, yes, and it will flatten it and give you a white background. It takes just a second to do that. Now, as you can see, we have a white background. I'll blow it up a little bit better so you can see it. Pretty clean drawing. And there you go. I'm Bill Hood for the School of Screen Printing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stick around. We'll have more for you in the future. Thank you.